Hello, welcome to today's video. We are on pages 32 and 33 of the Uke book. And so today we are going to be learning about beats, measures, time signatures, rhythms, all the little technical stuff, the, the theory. Okay, so um, in chapter two, we learned a little bit about rhythm and how it's counted. During our lessons, we will be discussing these things in depth. So a uh, beat is the steady, even pulse that remains constant throughout a passage of music. When we have music, we divide it into what are called measures. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what these measures are all about. So as we can see here, in the book on number 18, the measure is this kind of little area here. Notice that we have a five lines on the staff and then the bar lines are these that run down and up. So that's a bar line right there and that's a bar line right there. And the measure is in between the two bar lines. Think of it like a room with walls. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and talk about in this music here, we have a time signature. The time signature means how many beats are in each measure and which note gets the beat. We should be already learning about that in the flashcards. Four beats in every measure, quarter note gets the beat. And as you can see here at the bottom, the counts are one, two, three, four. That is the counts or also known as the beats in every measure. So we have four beats in every measure. And because the quarter note gets to beat, we could put four beats. So let's go ahead and talk about the rhythms. We have the whole note, four beats, half note, two beats, and the quarter note, of course, being one beat. So let's go ahead and start off by playing the whole notes here. Okay, let me just erase this real quick. Okay, so we're gonna play the whole notes and we're gonna clap, or excuse me, we're gonna count four beats for each note. And let's go ahead and prepare that. I would like for you to use the two fingers here, index fingers, I and M. And let's go ahead and get started. Index finger and middle finger. Ready, we're gonna to count to four as we play E. One, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. Now you may notice that I'm not saying the number one. Instead, I'm saying the note name and then I'm counting the rest of the beats, two, three, four. Okay, for the half notes, two beats each. We have an example here of half notes and quarter notes. Let's go ahead and play these examples. Once again, we're just going to use I and M of the right hand when plucking these notes. Let's say the note name. When we have multiple beats, say add an additional two. Okay, now I'm going to play them a little bit differently here. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, Four, E, two, E, two, E, 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 two, E, 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 two. So instead of actually counting one, two, three, four, we know that's the beat. And when we do prepare our rhythms, we're actually going to clap and count up to the number four, like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's how we're going to clap and count the rhythm. But when playing the notes, I like to count up to two for each rhythm like that. Okay. And I also like to say the note name. Let's talk a little bit about tempo as it says down here. It says division of the measure into whole half and quarter does not affect the speed of the beat itself. Okay, the beat is dictated by what is called tempo. 
and tempo, as you can see down there, it says quarter note equals 60. And that means 60 beats are going to be in every are going to be played every minute. Okay, or one beat per second. Let's go on to the next page. Here, we are going to test out our understanding of the rhythms with a song called Go Tell Aunt Rody. Okay, so let's go ahead now and we're gonna clap and count the rhythm first. I'm gonna go ahead and unshare the screen so that we can uh, just work with your own music book, okay? So let's go ahead and clap and count the rhythm here for Go Tell Aunt Rody. Ready, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Next measure, next system. When I say system, I mean those, the staff of lines. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I appreciate for those of you who are already very familiar with rhythms for bearing with me. Let's go ahead now and talk about clapping and saying the note names. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. E two, E, D, C two, C two, D two, D, F, E two, C two. Next system. G two, G, F, E two, E, E, D, C, D, E, C, two, three, four, and release. Okay, so now that we've clapped and counted the rhythm, we've clapped and said the note names, it is now time for us to play and say the note names. Remember, when we have half notes, count up to two after saying the note name, whole notes count up to two, three, four after saying the note name. Ready, here we go. Hands in position, we are starting on E. Prepare finger number two. There on fret number two on string C. Okay, here we go, ready. One, two, three, four. E two, E, D, C two, C two, D two, D, F, E two, C two, G two, G, F, E two, E, E, D, C, D, E, C, two, three, four, mute. Very good. So as mentioned, if you are not playing anything on string C there, but you're mostly focused on string E, go ahead and just hold that down in case you have to come back to D, and of course that's what we did. So always be prepared by fretting your notes. Okay, so now we're gonna go to lesson number four there at the bottom of our page. We are now at the bottom of page 33. The lesson four is about rests. So we know that rests, according to our flashcards, are either the whole rest, one, two, three, four, the half rest, one, two, and then the quarter rest, one, equivalent to their respective beats or their notes, okay? So let's go ahead now and talk about this super uke tip at the bottom. It says here that rests must be played with the same precision and intention as pitches. They are just as important as the notes themselves. It says here to play a rest, you must either stop the string or strings ringing, either by using your right hand picking finger. So if we pluck E, I'll just go ahead and touch it again to mute it or to stop it from vibrating. So whatever finger you're using to pluck that string, go ahead and use that same finger to just touch it and it'll stop it from vibrating. So that's called a mute. Or if you'd like, you can use the left hand fingers. So as you press it, as you hold it down onto the fret, 
if you just let it go or release the tension from the left hand and just simply hold it, it will stop it from vibrating that way as well. And either right hand or left hand will do. I usually like to use my right hand though. Okay, so let's go ahead and start talking about that rhythm there at the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clap and say the note names. Whenever we have a rest, it'll be exactly the same as the rhythms. We'll say rest, or we'll say rest two, depending on the number of beats per rest. Ready? Here we go. One, two, clap and say, and go. E, E, rest, E, F, two, rest, two, F, E, rest, two, G, rest, E, two. Next system, C, E, G, G, rest, two, three, four, G, E, rest, F, rest, two, E, two. Okay, so there's our clapping and saying of the note names. If you need to clap and count, please do so before. Let's go ahead now and play. Okay, we're gonna prepare Let's see, I don't think we have any D's here, so there's no need to bring that down. And so we'll get started with E. Now remember, either the right hand, the same finger you use to pluck it, or you can use another one, it's okay. Please mute it during the rest. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four. E, E, rest. E, F, two, rest, rest. F, E, rest, rest, G, rest, E, two, C, E, G, G, rest, two, three, four, G, E, rest, F, rest, rest, E, two, release. Okay, so as you noticed, as I was muting with my hands if i didn't fret anything i of course used my right hand if i did fret some stuff sometimes i use my left hand so i kind of go back and forth okay so this is about reading rhythms counting and rests please practice these skills every day and we will see you at next lesson bye <laughs>